All right, hey everyone, this is QB King 77 from the Android Creative Syndicate team. I'm just here to show you how to change the uh, boot up and shut down animations of on your Samsung Epic. Um, you will need to be rooted to do this and on a ROM to do this. So, wait, I'm currently running Syndicate Frozen ROM 1.1.0, and I all I have is the boot up and shut down animations that come with the syndicate ROM, so the syndicate boot up animation and the stock shutdown animation. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to pull the uh, boot up and shut down animations out of another ROM and put it into this ROM. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to do the use the Midnight ROM version 5.2 boot up and shut down animations and put it onto your Samsung Epic. So what you're going to need to do is make sure you have whatever ROM you need are pulling the animations out of on in your on your computer. So it's got to be a, it's going to be a zip file. In this case, I'm using Midnight ROM version 5.2 build your own ROM edition. So you're going to need the zip file. I have it on my desktop. So I'm going to double click on it. You're going to need WinRAR or 7zip to do this any um, any program like that. So Here's the what the ROM will look like in WinRAR. You're going to want to double click on System, double click on Media, and then right there, you got boot animation.zip. So that's your boot up animation when you first turn on your Samsung Epic. So what you're going to need to do with that is click on it, highlight it, and hit Extract to. Then I'm going to extract it to Desktop and just hit OK. So it should be on my desktop. So as you can see right down there, it showed up in a system folder. That's where my boot up animation.zip file is. And then to go back to your Midnight ROM uh, zip file to get to your shutdown animations, you're going to want to go to, uh, well, to start back, you're going to want to go to system and then click on media again in the same spot where the boot animation is. So system, media, and then you want to click on video. And then shutdowns right there, and then you got all these images. So, um, <clears throat> so you're gonna want to uh, highlight the folder above shutdown actually, and then hit extract to, and then I'm gonna put it on desktop again and hit OK. And then a folder should, should pop up on your desktop. It should be, um, I think it puts it in the system folder as well. So double click on system. It'll be media, it, there's your boot up, and there's video, and there's your shutdown. So th that's the two files you're gonna need. So for shutdown, you're gonna wanna click on it and drag it out to, well, actually you don't really need to do that. For shutdown, um, for boot animation, zip file, just click on it and then drag, mount your SD card on your phone and just drag it over to your phone. That's all you gotta do, just get that zip file onto your phone, just plug your phone in, transfer it over to your, uh, your uh, micro SD card and then for video you're going to double click on it once more and then go to shutdown and then click and drag that folder to your micro SD card uh, when you go to shutdown it's just a bunch of uh, images so you're going to need the whole folder onto your SD card so once you have all of those on your SD card you can go back to your phone and you're going to need root explorer to do this actually so to do so you're going to want to go to root explorer um, click on it <clears throat> and then go to your SD card and then find that boot animation .zip. so mine is right there boot animation .zip. press and hold it hit copy go back and then go to your system and then go to media and then you're gonna want to you'll see that boot animation .zips right there so if you want to keep your boot animation, if you want to revert back to whatever it's at, you can rename it and then just rename it to bootanimation.zip.bak and hit OK. So now that that's renamed to bootanimation.zip.bak, if you ever do want your old boot animation back, all you have to do is just delete the .bak part and it'll overwrite what you're pasting. So now you just hit paste and it'll paste that new boot animation that zip that I pulled out of the midnight ROM. So that's now all your now when you turn on your phone it should have the midnight ROM boot animation. And then to change your shutdown animation you're going to want to go back to your SD card. So go back to SD card, 
and then find out that folder called the shutdown. So find your shutdown folder. It should be on your SD card. So there it is right there, shutdown. Press and hold it and hit copy. And then you will want to go back to the system folder right there. Press on that and then go back into media. Basically the same spot that you're, you pulled the these files out of. Then you're going to want to go to video. And there it is, right there, shutdown. There's your shutdown folder. So all you got to do is if if you want to um, rename it, if you wanted to have it later, just rename it shutdown backup. There you go, shutdown backup. That's your old one. Just hit, go ahead and hit paste then. So then it should be pasting your new shutdown animations. So now that that is there, um, you should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and shut down my phone. It should have the new shutdown animation, so I'm going to power it off. And there it is. So it's not the stock one anymore. It's actually the the new, I, think, I believe it's a Helix shutdown animation. So now once that shuts down, I'm going to then turn on my phone and show you guys that the boot animation has changed as well. Come on. Okay, so now that it's shut down, I'm going to turn it back on. And there it is. Your new uh, startup animation. This is a Helix, Helix boot up animation as well. Pull out of the Midnight ROM. So yeah, that's all you need to do to change your boot up animation on your Samsung Epic. Uh, I, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'm happy to help you guys out. I also would like to thank everyone else that has donated to me. It has been a huge help to me and I do really appreciate it. So thanks to all of you guys. Um, other than that, thanks for watching guys. I hope this helped you guys out.